one owner car guy and I guess this will be number two of our restoration type refurbation refurbation there you go of a uh, classic type older stuff I do a lot of these one and two owner classic cars and sometimes I'll get into something that might be a couple more owners or I don't know owners because it's just cool it's classic um, this car is in great shape it's got them baby moons on the back and front and all that except for that wheel I'm missing it the red on it's in great shape um, it's been painted at some point obviously it's not a perfect paint job but it's in good shape a couple spots on it um, clear coats coming off the black part um, so on this one I don't think it's ready for a repaint I think it's a nice buff and I think a lot of the stuff will look better and I think you'll end up with a nice good looking car that's a driver there's gonna obviously be a couple chips not chips scratches in that but with the black redone it'll be a nice driver um, that's not too cool that just happened actually and another thing is a guy could match the red and do a little bit of that I don't know what exactly we'll do we shall see in the next while big block car um, 69 Ford Galaxy 500 XL yeah baby I don't remember the I gotta check the codes on the car on the block and all that good stuff still got factory stickers on the fender wells I don't know how that'll best show up. Not like that, huh? It is 9W6. Man, I can't read it. Okay, well. Oh! Last six or two, three. Last six don't help. Tops tore up. Don't know if I'll replace that. I don't know what I'll do to this car, but this will just be a, um, I don't know, a quick before we do anything of it. Um, nice car. I like these old cars. I really do. And I guess you'll see what we end up doing in the next while here. God, it makes me want to put carpet real quick. I mean, plain and simple. Well, thanks for watching, and make sure and comment, suggest, like, share. I'm going to do a whole series on this stuff. Um, we're going to do something to the red one there. Oh, red one. Better. To the white truck there, too. I'll show you right now, actually. Uh, maybe I'll just update this as we go along. 66,000 original miles. But something smacked it right there, and it caused the paint to ripple a little bit. and Kind of, there's no... Bro, it's just surfacey type stuff. But we're gonna pull these dents out a little bit and paint the roof on it. And we'll likely do the top of the topper. The top of the topper. Rover, Callaway Rover, all done with it. Painted the hood. Looks great. And the roof. And the bumpers too. I'm gonna do these pieces here next, do a little black on them. But that's that. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm gonna do that tailgate too. You know, patch a panel in, you know, just to that. It's easy to do on this one. Um, and I believe we're gonna do that. I don't like painting on things if I don't have to, especially original things. Um, that right there, just something that's super cool to do and an easy deal to um, kinda do, make look better, etc. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'll throw this in a playlist here. It'll be along with the RV and I don't know what other one I'll pick to do, but it'll be on there and you can check out these videos and watch for tips and tricks and how-tos and you'll see them go along and it's pulling and pushing dents and dings and painting and squirting and all kinds of stuff. We'll talk to you.